Together with Saini people, we have created a museum of multicultural heritage of this town. Old books, photographs, postcards and other memorabilia from family archives tell about common life of Poles, Lithuanians, Jews, Russian old believers and Protestants. Children's imagination, awakened by their grandparents' tales, allowed them to create their own clay town in which they all would love to live. Our work studio, where we prepared our Central European projects, has grown to become a documentation center of the borderland cultures. Under the 18th century beam-framed roof of the former Hebrew gymnasium, there is today a rich collection of books, including over 20,000 volumes in many languages, all treating on all nations and cultures of Central and Eastern Europe. This collection is used by scholarship recipients, students and scholars from Poland and other countries. Meetings with others in our practice of work with children and youth is constituted by direct confrontation, by first-hand experience of other worlds, achieved by journeys and research. We have traveled to the Roma villages in the south of Poland, to the Bukovina, divided between Ukraine and Romania, as well as to Bosnia. We have rediscovered the klezmer music with the help of its masters from New York City and we have studied the ancient culture of the Carpathians with the guidance of Hungarian dancers from Transylvania. The Jewish heritage was made known to us by those born in Seine and elsewhere on the territory of the former multinational commonwealths who are the Holocaust survivors and now began to return, carrying with them the memory of the past. <laughs>